Hi, I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to cook broccoli. We're going to do two methods today. We're going to steam it and we're going to roast it. Uh, but I also want to start with uh, helping you select broccoli and also cutting it up. Uh, what I like to look for when I go to the market and selecting uh, my broccoli is that the heads, the kind of flower part, if you will, is real tight and compact. If it's really loose and they're starting to flower a little bit, it's probably a little bit older. Also weight, you know, that's usually a great uh, sign in any produce, but if it looks really heavy, it feels really heavy, um, that's a great sign. Uh, a lot of the broccoli that I saw in the market today had most of the stem removed, but either way I use a, a similar technique. If there's any, if you have a long stem on here, a tough long stem, I actually try to use as much of that as possible. I just cut off the um, thick outside and use the tender inside part. I'll give you a little example of that by just cutting this off. Oh, that's a tough piece there. So I would just go through and really just cut this really tough part off the outside. See if there's a nice tender core that I can salvage. Then I'm going to go through the broccoli and all I do is go down like this and cut these off in pieces. Look at that. Just falls apart. So what I'm left with here are these kinds of pieces. They're done. I just leave them like that and use them. Then I look at kind of the smallest piece, look at the larger piece, and I break them down so they're a pretty similar size. These little pieces I'll just go ahead and throw in my bowl. These are probably okay. This big daddy. I'm just kind of cut down the stem. Let me do this where you can see a little bit better. Do you want them to cook at the same rate? So I have on the stove um, some boiling water, just a couple inches in a stock pot or saucepan. Um, this is my arrangement. I have a steamer insert. Um, you might have a different setup at home. There's all kinds of different steamer inserts. But the general idea is there's boiling water in the bottom. It's not touching this, but it's underneath this pan and it's emitting steam, steam up and cooking the broccoli up here. It cooks very quickly. Steam is very, very hot. I won't let it fool you. So um, I'll just put the broccoli in the steamer insert in maybe 10 minutes, depending on how much you like your broccoli cooked. So to roast the broccoli, I'm going to toss this with a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. Uh, we have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. Uh, just enough olive oil to coat. It's probably a tablespoon or two. I give that a little toss right away before I even salt and pepper it. The little florets, the little flower part of the broccoli can tend to just suck up all that oil right away. A little bit of salt black pepper. Keep in mind we're going to cook this at a, a pretty high heat. It's 400 degrees and um, I usually do vegetables as a, at a pretty high temperature uh, but that can make the longer you cook them the stronger the broccoli gets. It gets a little bit bitter so the black pepper uh, you might want to tone down a little bit from what you normally do because it gets bitter in the oven as well. We'll toss these out. And just spread them out evenly. Pop them in the oven. These will take about, uh, it's an indirect heat, so these will take more like 15 minutes. So the broccoli, I just put a little knife in there that we're steaming, and it's tender, but still has a little texture. You know, but cook the broccoli how you like it. Some people like it cooked a little bit more. Just know that the more you cook it, the more bitter it gets, even when you're steaming it. I like a little butter on there. Olive oil is nice too. 
maybe you don't put any fat on it, it's okay. I've got a couple tablespoons of butter for it to taste. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. So, pull the broccoli out of the oven. I could definitely cook this a little bit longer. It is tender with a knife. Um, it's got a little bit of brown patch on there and that's what I really like. Um, if you cook it more, the broccoli will get a lot stronger and some people like that, some people don't. I like it both ways. But I'm going to go ahead and put this on my platter. I wanted to just to show you a little bit. Broccoli is one of those things that is so pretty on the plate. I like to put it each piece down individually. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but what you get is this really pretty little tight, compact, lots of volume. Kind of shows off the vegetable really well by doing it this way. All right. I didn't add any other seasonings, like we already put the olive oil on this one, and salt and pepper. Oh, there you go. And that is how you cook broccoli.